There have been 130 cases reported in the U.S. at this point. It's spreading, albeit slowly. The transportation secretary says it is safe to fly, even though Vice President Biden suggested otherwise in comments yesterday. And scientists now say the strain appears to be relatively mild. But the fear and the concerns have been anything but mild. David Muir has been tracking this story for us. David, how you doing? You know about all the fear out there, Chris. And in a sign, an indicator this morning of just how concerned the parents are, the public is to know more about flu. Take a look at the number of Yahoo searches for pandemic this week, spiking more than 8,000%. This morning, parents are still trying to decipher some mixed messages out there. 19 states now say they're dealing with cases of swine flu. And this morning, outside Seattle, Washington, we've learned of one of the latest cases involving a pediatrician who now has the flu after seeing nearly two dozen patients. After going home, um, she uh, became more ill with high fever symptoms and went to an, a local emergency room. They are now reaching out to the parents of the children the pediatrician saw at the clinic to be on the lookout for symptoms. And on the University of Delaware campus this morning, 400 students suspected of having the flu have been given care bags with Tamiflu and masks. I feel like I'm a biohazard. Everyone's wearing the masks. Meantime, a quarter million school children are home this morning as the number of states closing schools grows. Many parents wondering, are all of these closings too much? While others have simply grown more fearful that their child's coughs could be something worse. Hi. Hey, Dr. How you doing? This Texas mother told us she took her son out of school on her own. As a mom, it concerns me because I don't want my child to get sick. So I want to do whatever I possibly can to prevent that. For parents, the messages have been mixed. Talking about flying, Vice President Biden said on national TV, I wouldn't go anywhere in confined places now. One person sneezes, it goes all the way through the aircraft. The administration then quickly said flying is safe. But all this back and forth of warnings have many parents wondering if the government, the scientists, know something that parents don't. There's no scientist or public health expert in the world that has the answer yet to this very basic question. Is this going to get a lot worse and will it get a lot worse in the short term? And even though new genetic testing on this new strain so far shows that it's going to be a mild case, doctors warn that it's still new, it could mutate, it could go dormant, return more virulent, which is what happened in the fall of 1918. We found this graphic animation which showed what happened in just a few weeks' time when it returned in the fall so strong and much stronger, in fact, than it was in the spring prior to it. You can see how it just kind of spreads across the nation within just a few weeks' time. Now, no scientist out there, no doctor is saying we're going to have another 1918 right now, but what they say this image does do is remind us that an abundance of caution is still better than less caution.